Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. <laughs> Yeah, I what? Ah, yeah, performation. I flow. Oh, I don't mind. I flow to the. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Before I give you my reaction to that video, let me just say I don't think people really understand the effort that goes into having a successful marriage. This stuff is not easy. Don't believe that fairy tale stuff you see on TV. Love is not enough. It takes patience, it takes understanding, it takes compassion, it takes forgiveness, and it takes selflessness. Think about it. For the rest of my life, every decision I make, I have to think, how is this going to affect my wife? How is it going to affect my husband, my spouse, my partner? That's called selflessness, and it's not easy. My wife and I have been married for 23 years. And most of our communication at this point is nonverbal. But having said that, there are days that she does certain things and I look at her and I think, girl, have you lost your mind? And there are things that I do. She looks at me and she says, Negro, you have got to be kidding me. So it's not easy. You have to make the decision as a couple to work through your valleys with tenacity. Fight for your relationships. I think people give up too easily. Now, of course, I know there's certain things you can't live with. I mean, if your husband is badgering you and beating you to a pulp within an inch of your life, leave. Because if you don't, you're going to be dead. But my point is, make the commitment. Make the commitment, because that's what it is. Now, back to this video. I, we don't know what happened in this video. It, it could be any number of things. You could add any caption to this video, it'll fit. But here's the thing. If indeed this girl had gone to see her ex-boyfriend right before she got married, that's a bad decision. But then again, it's not unforgivable. But it also depends on why she went to see him. We don't know any of that. But my point is this. Before you make this decision of marriage, have the tough conversations. Don't gloss over stuff. Most people make this mistake. They just get into marriage and they hope it's going to be fine. <laughs> it's not going to be fine. It's going to take work. Fight for your marriages. Fight for your relationships so that you guys can grow old together. Boom! <laughs>